equal quantities of aniline and diesel will be visible. Now this test will be uh, indicating the paraffinicity of a sample. So let us see what we have for this test. We require a sample of diesel. So this is your sample of diesel. Aniline. Both of them will be mixed in a test tube. Now in this test tube you will be having a stirrer, a thermometer. So we take equal quantities of aniline and diesel in this test tube put that in a water bath and then start heating with the help of a Bunsen burner we'll periodically mix this thing mix the diesel and aniline in this and then try to find out whether they are visible or not the temperature will be recorded constantly and the temperature at which your layers become visible we don't, we have, don't have any layers both of them become homogeneous that temperature is called as your aniline point. Yes, I hope the procedure is clear. Now we will perform the actual experiment. Uh, our lab assistant, Mr. S. M. Moray, will be helping us in doing this practically. So over to S. M. Moray, sir. Level of aniline. This will take it in the test tube. Now we will be taking 10 ml of diesel and mixing it in the same test tube. So before Moresa mixes that in the test tube, my question is which will go down? It is diesel, diesel should go down or aniline should go down? Yes, think about it and let us see what uh, we observe as Moresa puts that in the test tube. Yes, so what is the bottom layer in that? 
bottom layer is aniline and the top layer is diesel now that depends on the density of the two fluids so aniline will be having a higher density than that of diesel diesel normally has a density of around 0.8 to 0.87 whereas aniline will be having higher than that you can find out the density of aniline from its msds so now Marissa has put that in the water bath now we will be starting the burner and we will start heating the samples the water bath level has to be adjusted such that there will be equal heating so we add some more water in that water bath Uniform heating is very much important so as to achieve the exact result. The heating is done by the Bunsen burner. Uniform heating will ensure a constant heating rate. Now that it has stirred, we will observe how the layers separate out. Yes, again we have the upper layer and the lower layer. So still we do not have the annealing point. Let us see what the temperature is. currently around 40 degrees celsius so we'll have to wait until the temperature rises and again we'll check the miscibility of the layers Yes, it is. Now this is a homogeneous solution. Even there is no turbidity layer in between. Yes, we are also able to see the thermometer inside so it's becoming clear and homogeneous yes so this is 72 degrees celsius when both the layers become miscible and that temperature is your aniline point Yes, you can observe it is homogeneous now. We are not getting two separate layers. Yes, so this test is called as your aniline point test. Now from the calculations we will be 
finding out the diesel index and that is by the formula which is given in your lab manuals.